What's up, beautiful people? In this video, I am taking it up a whole nother level, doing something I've never done before, and that is setting up drip irrigation in my raised beds. I do want to say I did show you all all of these you know imperfection and things like that because I've come across a lot of these videos and it looks like they're done by like part-time plumbers it look like they have no problems and then I when I went out here to try it myself which I usually try things by myself first and I realized man this is not as easy as they make it out to be so I wanted to give you all a real practical look at what this will really take like for those who do not have a part-time job as a plumber let's go What's up, beautiful people, and welcome to another episode of Don't Keep Up With, Don't Keep, Don't Keep Up With the Joneses. Don't, don't keep up with the, don't keep up with the Joneses. Don't keep up with, don't keep, don't keep up with the Joneses. Don't, don't keep up with the, don't keep up with the Joneses. All right, beautiful people. So, like I said, it's something that I've never done before. So, what I wanted to do is go ahead and do one of them first, just to get a feel for things, just to get a wherewithal of what it takes and all that good stuff. And I feel like it turned out just the way I wanted it to turn out. So, now that I have done one, I'm gonna take you along the journey of the second one. And so, what I am going to do is, uh, well, let me just show you. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So, what I have done is went on ahead and connected my PVC pipe. This is three-fourths um, as far as width. This is a 10-inch pipe going from one bed to the other. And then what I have here are my ball valves. It's a ball valve situation connected going from three-fourths to two and a half. And then I have my elbow scenario, elbow, elbow. And then it goes into a half-inch pipe up here. And then, of course, T in it. I have the elbow there and going all the way the length of the raised bed. And of course, that's a 10 foot pole as well. I have a cap on the other end. And if all, none of that really register in what I just said, it's okay. I'm gonna do it again because I have to do it again for this raised bed. So what I'm going to do is make sure I have the proper fittings that will have my three four going up to my ball valve, like I said over there. And then from the ball valve, it will go to a coupling from three fourths to half inch and then from half inch to the elbow. So let me go ahead and get my cuttings and fittings and then I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, great people. So with the piece, the three fourth piece, that's gonna go from the T that is um, already there at the three fourths to the um, ball valve. I'm just gonna cut off a little piece which this is all like eyeballing, truth be told. Um, and so you eyeball it. Let me go ahead and make this first cut. Cuts very nice and clean. And then, uh, so I just go take this and then let's go back outside to see what it looks like. And uh, it'll be trial and error. So now we do the fitting part, see what it looks like. So I need to cut off a little bit more, unfortunately, because I have a, another piece that's gonna go here and then a coupling and then the uh, half inch. So let me go ahead and take this back off and cut again. It's trial and error, beautiful people. I wish I had another way to tell you on how to do it, but my honest way is trial and error. Take your time, don't be in a rush, and you'll get there. That's the other part. Don't rush, you will get to the finish line. All right, let's see what we're working with this time. Push that in there. Like so. Ball valve go at the top. Perfect, perfect. Enough to connect the two, but not too much that it adds length to my overall scenario. And so from here, this goes in like so, goes in like so. You have an end cap here. And so now what I wanna do is another three-fourths piece from here uh, that will go to my coupling part and then the half inch. So let me go ahead and do those cuts, bring it back and we'll see if it fits. All right, great people. So I went on ahead and made the whole coupling scenario. So what we have here is the three-fourth inch pipe. We have the three-fourth to the two and a half. The two and a half is right in between, and then we have a, uh, excuse me, a one and a half in between uh, PVC pipe, and then we have the elbow, which is one and a half as well. And this is going to connect to my ball valve, like so. 
perfect fits. And then from here, I wanna go ahead and measure out for my pipe that's gonna rest here, which will create my whole watering situation for this one. I'm gonna cut my pipe right here, and then we'll see about an elbow piece and then another half piece. So, like so, I want it to sit right there like it is and then we'll do another elbow right here so let me get the elbow and then i'm gonna get a half inch piece to know how much of a piece i need to connect between these two all right so with my elbow here put it there like so Go ahead and put it there. All right. So now I know where to go cut. I'm gonna go ahead and make that cut and I'll be right back. All right, so now we have the half inch piece here gonna fit here it's also gonna go right here like so boom we have that piece so now we'll just T right here T right here and that'll be a straight uh, 10 inch pipe that'll be a straight 10 inch pipe so what I want to do is mark this piece for this cut for this T so I'm gonna mark it at the 8 and I'm gonna do one at a time because as you'll see, when you make these cuts, it does alter and change the size. And I honestly haven't worked with piping enough to know the difference and how to cut properly. So I'm gonna just cut one at a time, but just show you the process step by step so you'll know how to do it yourself. All right, so now we have our first tee in. Everything else is how we want it to be. Actually, see, even with that cut, it was a little off. So what I'm going to do is shorten this piece so that thing shifts. So what I want to do is cut right there. Now hopefully we'll get everything right where we need it to be for this T piece and we'll be done. If not, we'll make the changes, right? trial and error trial and error but when it's done you'll be happy and satisfied happy and satisfied all right so i believe this will be the way ding 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 see patience goes a long way and then from there we're going to go ahead and put our 10 foot uh pipes on so that we can go ahead and have it at the full length and i'm gonna show you what all that looks like when it's all connected I do want to say I did show you all all of these you know imperfection and things like that because I've come across a lot of these videos and it looks like they're done by like part-time plumbers it look like they have no problems and then I when I went out here to try it myself which I usually try things by myself first and I realized man this is not as easy as they make it out to be so I wanted to give you all a real practical look at what this will really take like for those who do not have a part-time job as a plumber or really any work doing and using with PVC so I mean clearly I've done this with the hoop house but beyond that I've not have used PVC for anything like this so with that being said I think I'm ready to fire up the water and see what we actually have and um, you know 
see if there are any leaks or anything like that okay i do see people using like semen and all of that i really don't want to but if we need to i will so let's go ahead and try it out to see if we have any leaks and let's test out what we have okay all right <laughs> that was not what I was expecting to see. But the less we do have it working. But I think the real problem is we do not have all of the holes drilled into the whole system itself. So what I'm going to do is like too much pressure, obviously. Um, well, I mean, that's my surmise. It was too much pressure because of it's not being a lot of holes drilled into it. So what I'm going to do is take the time and drill in the holes um, throughout the PVC pipe. I'm going to do it in the garage because it's hot outside right now. And um, I'm going to go ahead and hook it back up. And then we'll see what we get at the end of the day. Now, I do want to say to drill the holes, you use a 1 and 16th um, inch drill bit okay and obviously don't go all the way through unless you want penetration on both sides okay then go for it but with that being said let's go ahead into the garage well i'm gonna go in the garage i'll come back out we'll hook it up and we'll see what it looks like after i make all of the holes okay Whew. all right ladies and gentlemen so i have it all back hooked up now that took a lot longer than i expected to i'm gonna say it probably took about an hour and 10 minutes just to do them all so Please make sure you set aside that amount of time to get it all done. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and turn the water hose on and see what we get. <laughs> I'm so nervous. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna walk you through it just so you can see what I can see uh, more permanently, so, or better, I should say. So as you can see, um, you know, this one turned out pretty fairly good. It's getting coverage all the way around. Now what I can do, even though it's all there, is drill in some more holes where necessary. So, you know, I'm gonna just look for like the dry spots and just, you know, give some water in the titch in there so you can see like the dry spot there. Uh, over here this is very good you know um, it's gonna get the roots which I want it to um, and overall this one I could do a quite a few more holes now this one isn't receiving the amount of pressure necessary and I'm probably because it's at an angle so I'm assuming if I were to lift this up that it would get the adequate amount of pressure all the way through which that little theory did help. So I may have to raise this area just a little bit to give it the proper elevation so that the whole area gets soaked and watered as necessary. But it's just a little minor detail. I probably can add a hole over here. So I'm not getting anything through. So I can add holes. I can always add holes. So here we have it, ladies and gentlemen. I have now my drip irrigation system, which I am also excited about. I'll turn it on in the morning and let it run from anywhere between 15 to, 20 to 30 minutes. I'll, you know, make sure everything is nice and soaked and doused with water, everything the way I want it to be, and I'll be good to go. I don't have to water overhead, just the buckets, which is not a problem, um, but I won't have to water everything. I could just water the roots, which is what needs the water anyway. So it all works out. Obviously, you could do it too. If I did it, uh, you can do it. Like I said, it probably took me anywhere between, in totality, probably about three hours. Three hours to do this project the way it needs to be done, properly and in order. And like I said, I'm gonna have to even go back and level some things out, probably add some rocks or things just to make sure it's where it needs to be. And um, from there, even drill some extra holes in there as well. So with all that being said, I love you all. I appreciate you. Thank you for sticking in. If you are new, go ahead and subscribe. I hope I won you over by now. Okay. So with that being said, have a great today. Um, I think now, I think it's time to garden. I think it is time. I'm going to let this sit for like a week and then I'm going to come back, start gardening, summertime gardening in my garden, front yard, raised bed garden. Okay. I don't know how many times I said garden, but I said it enough to be done with it. So with that being said, love you. Peace! Ha ha ha!